You've heard the rumor. Binance is getting ready to spot list Caspa. And this is based on a fundamental research Twitter post where a gentleman found an anomaly wallet containing over 8,000 transactions and over 12 million Caspa coins. We were combing all the Caspa wallets 45 days ago. Not only did we find this exact wallet he was talking about, we found over 13 exactly like them. And once we fed this information into the artificial intelligence, it gave us an answer that was much different and much more bullish than a Binance spot listing. The artificial intelligence answer also sheds a whole new light on the CASPA project, and we'll get into that momentarily. What were we doing combing through the top 300 wallets in the first place? Legendary investor Roaring Kitty, who made a name for himself calling out GameStop when it was extremely undervalued. One of his first steps in researching any asset is he looks for clusters of insider buying. So of course in crypto, specifically Casp, we don't really have insiders, but we can still take note of whales loading up their bags. And that's exactly what we found in Caspa all the way from the middle of August to the beginning of September. These 5 million, 10 million, 15 million Caspa bags were all loading up at prices from three and a half all the way up to five cents. So for any of you guys on the sidelines, you are still extremely early as the big boys just bought in right at five cents. We were able to use this information to help us make this 10X Caspa leverage trade call out on November 3rd, we're of course the only YouTuber who caught the entire Caspa move in a 24 hour heads up call out shout out. Right now we're looking at 20X profit with just $1,000 in that trade. Caspa hits five bucks, it's a million dollar trade. Of course, all these other crypto YouTubers they weren't reading the top wallets, so they didn't have enough information to make that call out for you. We're actually the number one best performing channel, beating even the GameFi micro cap call out channels to the boards. Take Rune for an example. We called this out at $1.85. We advised to use 3X leverage even if you went in with no leverage at all, you still beat any gaming crypto across the board. The new layer one called Tia, also known as Celestial, we called this out at five and change. It's just under $15 now. And this isn't a micro cap. This is a $2 billion market cap right now, and it still has massive room to growth. We also called out layer one Zetrix at five and change. Now it's at 10 and change. So all it takes is a deeper skill set and you can get these huge gains without getting into these risky tokens like these game fives are. And that's all fun if you guys want to diversify into a bit of game fi, but know the difference between a token and a coin. Coins are layer ones. They're much more solid like a flux, a quant, a caspa. A token is something that's on a BNB chain, on an ERC-20 coin. And often tokens like Jasmine, for example, are far more associated with really good marketing plans and a short-lived price action. So what did the artificial intelligence come up with once we fed all this information from 13 anomaly wallets with over 8,000 transactions? The artificial intelligence said that these wallets were in fact MEV bots. And you gotta be saying, what's an MEV bot and what does this have to do with Caspa? What an MEV bot is, let's say you're selling your Caspa for $1 and I've got a buy order out for a dollar and a penny. The MEV bot comes in and it picks up the arbitrage between the two transactions, making an automatic profit. Caspa has a massive MEV bot connection 
because Jonathan, the founder of Caspa, was working on an MEV class inside of Harvard before he kickstarted up Caspa. This can be the answer to the question on why Caspa had no VCs. When in fact, when we trace down the investment firms that seed funded Caspa, specifically Polychain, we noticed that they're directly connected with Coinbase through a gentleman known as Olson Carlson. That's right, Olson Carlson is the man who seed funded Caspa. He's the founder of Polychain Capital, but he's also an ex Coinbase executive. Now, Polychain Capital and Coinbase are constantly co-investing and sharing crypto startup investments together. It's a fair assumption to say that Polychain Capital is Coinbase on the books. Thus, once Caspa gets listed on Coinbase and it has a gigantic $100 billion market cap, Coinbase has an additional incentive for such a huge market cap to get so much volume on Caspa because they'll be running an MEV bot, which will make it an extremely profitable crypto for them to host, not because they're getting ready to dump on retail, but because they're running these MEV bots, making them even more profit than any of these market maker pump and dump schemes. This shining more light on Caspa using the original Twitter post to now answer deeper fundamental questions. Thanks for checking out this video, guys.